Welcome to Programming Basics, The Basics of Java, presented by Uplift Robotics, FTC Team 18172. So what is Java and how do I use it? Well, Java is an object-oriented programming language that was created in the late 1990s. It's become pretty popular recently and is considered a good starting point for many prospective programmers. So what's an IDE? Well, an IDE is simply just a piece of software that provides a programmer with all the tools they need. For example, a compiler, which just turns the typed human code into binary, which is a bunch of ones and zeros for the robot or the computer. In FTC Robotics, Android Studio is a popular Java-based IDE. What is an SDK? Well, an SDK, or Software Development Kit, is simply a bunch of pieces of software working together under one piece of hardware, operating system, or overall project. For FIRST Robotics, an FTC-specific SDK can be downloaded each year from the FIRST Inspired website, and that's game-specific for each year. And for more, more info on how to download this, uh, we'll be posting another YouTube video on that subject. So what are the basic elements of Java? Well, in Java, syntax is extremely important. What is syntax? Well, it's basically the grammar of Java and other languages too. And while there's specific practices that you have to take in Java or you should take, we won't really go over them right now just because this is a basic tutorial, but we'll go on, them, go on to them later on. So for the basics, Java uses indented code with brackets that symbolize the start or end of a block of code. Another major aspect of Java is the use of variables, and the three most common variable types you'll see are strings, ints, and doubles. A string is simply a string of characters, which can be letters, numbers, spaces, etc. And an int is an integer number like 24 or negative 5. A double is a decimal number, like 2.5 or negative 3.75868. And while all these variable, have, variable types have their limits, it's just a basic overview of them for now. What is a Java class? Well, simply put, it's just a type of Java file. It's where most of the source code for a project, project is located. And you can actually have multiple classes in a file. But there's also multiple types of classes, from abstract to public to private. But essentially, they all just provide code for internal procedures, and some of them can be extended or implemented by another class. They keep the code organized. Similarly, for a method, it's a block of code that completes a procedure and can return a value. So they kind of clean up and organize a Java class. And they help to allow for modification later on, or debugging, which is testing or fixing the code. So now let's see the code in action. Hey guys, so this is Android Studio right here. And this is where most of the code is done for FTC. Um, in this project, we have this statement right here. It may be confusing, and we will go more in depth into it later, but this is basically where all your code goes into. So inside of it, you can do your code. And to start off, we will, I'll start with um, adding integers or whole numbers. So in order to do this, you need to use something called an int, and you need to give it a name. So first number, and you can set it equal to five and then you can do a second number you can set that equal to 10 and you can you need also need a variable for the answer and in order to add them all together you need to do answer is equal to the first number plus the second number And every statement needs a semicolon at the end. Okay, so next, if you want to add decimal points together or subtract, you would use something called a double. So we could do double first number is equal to 
O3. And we can do double second number is equal to 18.172. And then we can do double answer. And when we add them together, it's the same thing as an integer. You'd say first number plus second number. And it would just, if you do a, the statement system dot out dot print, and you put in the answer into there, it would print the answer onto your console screen. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to declare a string. So a string can contain words or phrases. Um, I'm just giving it a name there and then I can input anything I want. So I can do uplift robotics. And then I can print it out with that same statement that I did with the doubles. And it will print out uplift robotics. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, please leave it for us in the comments below and we will try to answer them as quick as possible. Uh, and we are uplift robotics and we will have several videos in the future.